Hello Libra, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I just want to say thank you for all the beautiful comments and love and support. I cannot tell you how appreciated it is, so thank you so much. Um, if this video resonates with you, please be sure to click on the like button. Um, underneath the video, you're going to see the word subscribe um, in red. Just tap on that button so that any future videos that I post will come right up on your YouTube feed. Okay, Libra, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is going to be your love weekly reading. June 2nd to June 9th for What messages do we have from June 2nd to June 9th of 2019? June 2nd to June 9th. Okay, Libra, let's get started. Okay, so we do have some water signs here. We've got uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We have Fire, which can be um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. I do have some Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, um, Gemini energy. here. Okay, Libra, so the underlining energy of the deck is going to be the Three of Cups. We have water energy here again, so Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. Um, we're celebrating something, Libra. Um, so, I mean, you know, threes can, can be a third-party situation, obviously, but, uh, you know, I don't know. You don't have a lot of too bad cards here. Let, let's see how it plays out. So it could either be celebration or third-party, but I think um, you might be celebrating something, Libra, getting out of a certain certain situation. Let's see what we have because the first card here is um, the Nine of Cups, Libra. The Nine of Cups. So you're getting, I mean, whatever's happening uh, this week, Libra, is your wish for fulfillment. It is what you've been wanting for some time now, okay? So we do have this being clarified by the Page of Pentacles, okay? So Either a message you sent a message to somebody or somebody sent a message to you and whatever you know whatever was communicated here um, you got your wish fulfillment okay maybe somebody apologized you apologized to somebody whatever is happening you are celebrating here Libra okay um, I mean you are you are definitely happy this week so here we have the two of wands okay which is fire energy so we could be dealing with Leo um, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy, and the two of wands, I mean, it looks like you had to make a choice, Libra, okay, so you see, uh, the, there's the two wands there, you're looking out, you, you could have possibly came to a decision, um, and you were very happy about this decision, so this is clarified by the King of Swords, now the King of Swords is uh, no-nonsense energy, okay, this is going to be an uh, air sign, so um, Gemini, Libra, uh, Aquarius energy. So I feel like that's kind of where you're at right now, Libra. You have just totally taken your emotions, tossed them to the side, and you're just using, you know, mind over heart this week, okay? You are going to do what makes you happy. You're not going to let your emotions get in the way. You're going after your dreams. You're going after what you want, and you're doing it in a strategic way. You're, you're just cutting those emotions out, and you're not going to be bogged down by them anymore. Now, here we have the Fool, okay? So the Fool is obviously new beginnings, taking risks, you know. Um, we're looking for something new here, Libra. Now, this is clarified by the Devil, okay? So, this can go a couple of ways. I mean, from the cards that are playing out after this, I have to be honest with you, Libra. The way I feel here is that you're, you've moved on. You've, you've left, okay? You've, you've made a decision. Um, you sent your message saying, hey, listen, I'm out, okay? You've told your person, I'm done. What, whatever, you know, happened, happened. I'm done. I'm moving on. I'm going to do me now, okay? You've moved on. You've decided to take the risk to go and be happy. Um, but your person's not happy about it. Your person is out to make sure that 
uh, you know, they stand in your way here because the next card here that I see is going to be the Five of Wands. Okay, so again, we're dealing with a fire energy here, Sagittarius. Um, Aries or Leo. Of course, it doesn't have to be those signs, but that's the type of energy, a very fire, passionate type of energy. And as you could see here, um, there's a lot of strife happening. They're, they're going to hold their ground. They might feel like very jealous. You know, this, this person that you left behind, Libra, is, I mean, obsessively jealous. Like, there, there's some very deep, dark feelings there, okay? Um, so I feel like they might feel jealous because this is also stands for competition. They are very jealous that you have cut off emotion. I think they're very jealous that they came to you with an apology or that you, you know what I'm saying, that they came to you with something and, you know, maybe you rejected it because you made your decision. You know, a, a message came in, you made a decision, you decided to cut off your emotions here, you decided to take new risks, and now this devil comes in. Okay, so this person, um, you know, and this is clarified by the Seven of Swords, okay, by the Seven of Swords. So this person, um, either they feel like you're you're taking something from them, you're stealing something, like by losing you, they've lost, I mean, they're going nuts by losing you. They're, they're, they're losing their mind. They cannot stop, I cannot tell you the energy that I'm feeling here. Like, I mean, the devil being followed by these two cards, it just, this person is out, I mean, I don't, I, I can't say that they're, you know, you know, physical abuse isn't a thing. I mean, because someone can be going through that. I mean, let it resonate as is. But the the person is definitely, um, you know, at that level. Like, they are so obsessed that they're like, you know what I'm saying? They want to make you theirs. They, they, they do not want to see you go. Okay? They feel like they've lost something huge, um, Libra. So just, you know, be careful there. Okay? Now here, um, we have the High Priestess and the Page of Wands, okay? So the High Priestess does stand for secrets or uh, using your intuition, okay? And the Page of Wands, again, is this fire energy coming in with a message. Okay, so again, let me just backtrack here. So this is an earth sign. This is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, okay? So I'm not sure if this initial message came from you making your decision. I think this is you, Libra, telling this person, hey, listen, I'm done. I've decided to cut off my emotions, and then this whole thing played out. Because now this fire energy is coming in um, with the high priestess here. So I think this is your person reaching out to you. Um, you know, you're going to start having messages coming in from your person. Um, you know, secrets may come out, the unknown may come out, but I think ultimately here, this is telling you, Libra, use your intuition. Use your intuition when, when they reach out to you because um, their energy is, their energy is very off right now, Libra. They're, they're losing their minds for having lost you, okay? I mean, that you're walking away. I mean, this, the devil followed by these two cards, the energy is just very off. Um, now, your Wish Fulfillment card here, the uh, Nine of Cups, is clarified by Judgment. Okay, it's clarified by Judgment. So, um, Judgment is the past, and it means second chances. Um, I really do feel here, uh, Libra, that, you know, you have made the decision to give yourself a second chance. You've made the decision to move on and, and just you know, start something new, a second chance at life, because whatever was happening with your person, um, it seems like it was a little toxic. It seems like it was a little toxic. Um, so now we have the moon, once again, uh, clarifying the two of wands. Again, we have fire energy here. So this is, again, secrets. It's the unknown. You made the decision to move. Again, we have the full card here. So I feel, Libra, like you're going to be making the decision to go out into the unknown. Either secrets came out and you made your decision and told, you know, your person, listen, I'm done. And again, this could all be vice versa, Libra, okay? But either secrets came out, something came out, and you decided, you made your decision and decided to move on, or you just made your decision to move into the unknown, to look for new love, for look to look for something different, to maybe just focus on yourself, because we have the high priestess card here, which is, you know, looking deeper into yourself and healing yourself spiritually, okay? So you made your decision to go into the unknown. You made your decision to, to take some risks, all right? Now, um, the full card is being clarified by the four of pentacles. Now, pentacles, again, is um, an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, Taurus energy. And, you know, I feel like what this is telling us here is 
The Four of Pentacles is basically moving on from a bad situation. Um, it can also mean holding on to something, okay? So maybe you've decided to actually release something because this is new beginning so maybe you've decided to release something and you're moving on from that bad situation you don't want to hold on to it anymore okay because the you know the fool stands for a free-spirited person i'm just gonna i don't even care about furniture i don't care about nothing i'm just packing my little you know bag here my backpack and i'm out that's that's how serious i am about just moving on from this situation now the the five <coughs> excuse me the five of wands um, again, fire, energy, the conflict, the competition is being clarified by the um, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is, you know, Virgo energy. Uh, again, it could be any earth sign, Capricorn, uh, Taurus, Virgo. And I, I very much strongly feel like this is clarifying this because your person sees that you're doing great. You're doing great. I mean, this, this card here... Um, the Nine of Pentacles is financial stability, independence, peace, quiet. This is someone who is just prosperous right now. And I think, Libra, that you are doing fantastic without your person, and they are losing their shit over it, to be honest with you. Um, and again, this could be, you know, vice versa. But you, it seems to me like you're having a, a beautiful week, Libra, because, I mean, look at you here. You got your guard up, and you just, you're serious about life. You're, you're prosperous, you got finances are doing good, you look like you're peaceful, you just don't care, Libra. You don't care. You're, you're doing great. Now, the High Priestess is clarified by the, um, you know, Four of Cups. So, what I feel here is, again, I believe that, you know, this person reaching out to you, because don't forget, this was clarified by the Wands, okay? Uh, a message coming in from this fiery energy. So, Again, secrets or intuition here with the High Priestess, you know, I, I think you're trying to, you're becoming this person, you're becoming more solid in who you are as a person, but this person reaching out to you might get to you a little bit, Libra, it might, because here it, it also shows this is a water card, okay, so Cups are water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, um, I show you as this, I show you as you're doing okay, so you might be showing everybody that you're doing okay, but when this person reaches out to you, I mean, you're not inhumane, Libra, you, you did love this person at one point, so as you can see here, you have three full cups here, the universe is just handing you more cups you have things coming to you you might have peace and financial perspective you might be you're doing okay libra i don't feel like you're not doing okay but this person reaching out to you may make you a little bit sad might put you in, in your head a little bit libra you know we're all human um but i don't think i don't really feel like it's going to get to you all that much honestly because you're not thinking with your heart right now you're thinking with your head okay so now to clarify the page of pentacles here. So again, remember, I really do feel strongly like this page of pentacles was you telling your person, I've made a decision, um, you know, again, maybe some secret came out, maybe, a, you know, maybe a third party, you found out about a third party situation, um, you know, because we do have two secret cards here, the three of cups, maybe you found out about a third party situation, and again, let's always keep in mind, 30, third party situations are not always another man or another woman, it could be an addiction, it could be, um, you know, anything, it could be anything that would cause in between your relationship that was kept secret um maybe you found out something you told them no listen i want to move on uh and you got good fortune from that you put the wheel in motion to you know be the fool and just kind of you know to take risks to let go to move on from this bad situation um and and you're you're very fortunate because of that you got a lot of blessings coming in it led to a lot of peace okay i mean the wheel of fortune is a beautiful card so you know making that decision obviously was the best thing that you can do for yourself so here we have the Knight of Swords. I just love how cards play out sometimes. So the Knight of Swords is clarified by the Page of Swords. So I feel like when this person reaches out, you know, you reached out saying, listen, I made a decision. They're reaching out to you, you know, very angry, upset. They want you back. I mean, they are, again, really, the energy is just they are losing their shit that you're, you're not responding the way you usually do. And you're just responding back with your, with your sword up. Okay, you are not going to take their crap anymore. You're not going to, it, the whole situation might make you a little bit sad, Libra. You know, it may make you a little bit sad because you're not, you know, you're not inhumane. You're a loving, kind person, you know. You, it may make you a little bit sad, but ultimately this is you. You're in peace. You're, you're just, you know, sometimes things, 
you know, ends, it sucks, it's, you know, you may be thinking on the past, the good times, you know, there probably was a lot of great memories there, but ultimately, um, you know, you're not giving in here, Libra, I don't see reconciliation here, um, now, the devil is being clarified by the justice card, so I feel like this tells me, your person is getting what they deserve. They have put you through a lot, Libra, and you walking away is exactly what they deserve, okay? And by you walking away is exactly what you deserve, because you deserve this. You deserve to be prosperous and happy and to wake up with a smile. You know, you, you deserve that in your life. Now, The Seven of Swords, which again, air energy, you know, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, is being clarified by the Temperance card, okay? So again, this is decisions, okay? This is being clarified by decisions. So this person, you know, I feel like they made a lot of bad decisions. They made a lot of bad decisions. Um, they're trying to nego they're going to try to negotiate with you. You know, again, this is... We have this card coming out right afterwards. They know that they made bad decisions. They know that they did. They know that they're going to try to negotiate with you to try to get you back. Um, but to be honest with you, I, I don't, you know, I don't see you budging. But I, they're not going to stop. They're not going to stop because here we have the page of wands and the magician. Okay, so they're gonna, they're trying to manifest you back into their life, Libra. They are praying for this, they're, they're thinking, I mean, they're obsessive about it, and we all know how manifestation works, the more you think about something, you know, the more you put that energy into the universe, they cannot stop thinking about you, Libra, you know, they cannot stop thinking about getting you back, um, they're willing to negotiate, they're going to be sending out messages, uh, you know, can, you know, don't forget the wands, is, it's a fire energy, and it's also communication, so they're, they're going to be trying to communicate with you, they're going to try to negotiate this, they're going to try to balance this out, um, and they're, they're manifesting you back into their life. They, they, they're willing to do anything to get you back into their life, okay? But I think that ultimately, <laughs> look at this. So, I think this is your energy this week, Libra. I think that you're going to be celebrating. You're going to be going out with your friends. You're financially... Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, but I think you're going to be going out with your friends. I think you're going to be, you know, celebrating. And under here, Libra, look at this. To clarify the Three of Cups, we have the World card, which means something came to an end and something new and successful is beginning. Let's not, let's just take this into consideration here. You have the Wheel of Fortune telling you that this decision that you made, this message that you sent out saying, that's it, it's over, was the best thing you could have done for yourself. And then under here, we, we have the Strength card, okay? The Strength card. You This whole thing has built... Um, how can I put it? It has taught you to deal with things in a different way, Libra, okay? Um, because the strength card means handling things with strength and grace, okay? So as you can see here, look at this king, how he's graceful, graceful and strength. You're no longer doing this anymore. You're no longer de dealing with all this strife and craziness in your life. You're just cool, calm, collected, beautiful, peaceful, serene. I really feel like this is beautiful, Libra. Absolutely beautifully. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to like and click on that subscribe button. Um, just tap on it one time uh, so that you could get $10 off your first free reading and um, put yourself in the running to be chosen for a free reading. Take care, guys.